Hey everyone, my name is Jerry and we are here. This is going to be week one of the NCP and we are taking on Diet Tight and his New Britain Rock Rough. And uh, this is going to be a really crazy match, right? So I found out that I was taking over this team about five hours ago and I was at work for a lot of it, but we're just going to get right into it. I really don't have a lot of time with my team. I just uh, try to see how well I matched up and I don't match up that badly, but uh it's just going to be, like I said, a really uh, crazy matchup. So we do see the, the Decidueye, the Gudra, the Blastoise, the Zero Aura, the Grimmsnarl, and the Steelix. So, um, a lot of stuff that I would have expected here. Although really interesting not to see the Frostlast, the Colossal, and uh, the Sigilyph, and as well as no coughing, but uh, that's not too surprising. So... Yeah, right off the bat, he brought a very slow team other than the Zero Aura. So what I'm thinking here, I could probably lead off with the Arcanine. I think what would he might want to lead off with the Steelix. Yeah, Arcanine makes a lot of sense to me, except uh, obviously the Blastoise. But if he leads off Blastoise, then I'm kind of in a decent amount of trouble no matter what happens. I could definitely lead off with the Milotic. But no, I think Arcanine makes the most sense to me here. I think Arcanine makes the most sense to me here. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I did not draft my team. I did not see my this team until just a few hours ago. But the team is really interesting. I like it a lot. But uh, ultimately, I'm just going to have to see how well it matches up here. There are definitely some things that I would have changed up about this team. And uh, some things that I will definitely be changing up for the future. But uh, this team has a ton, a ton of potential. So... Yeah, like I said, I let off with the Arcanine as he leads off with the Steelix. Now, I could fire off Flamethrower here. I might want to make a super hard read and fire off a Toxic. The, what He could go into Blastoise. Blastoise would be the best play for him overall. I think... Yeah, I think I'm just going to fire off a Flamethrower here. I don't have the best removal, and uh, my team in general... Is just not going to have great removal, but I don't think the team that I brought is super duper weak to rocks. It's just going to be a matter of kind of managing everything overall. So, does go into the Blastoise. I don't think I mind too much. This thing could be a super aggressive Shell Smash set. Um, it definitely could be. But, I think no matter what happens, I kept rocks off the field turn one. And this allows me to go into my Milotic. Because, uh, yeah, this Blastoise in general is going to struggle to kind of beat my, my Milotic. And I do have Haze on my Milotic as well. I can Toxic and Haze and kind of repeat that a handful of times. And just try to deal with this thing as best I can. I really did wish that I made that play now. But... Yeah, I don't see... Does pull a double. He he probably just wants to see whatever I was going to do. But does go into this thing. Okay, okay. That's definitely fair. Now I can... My dedicated switch into this is kind of the... The... Leafeon, and... I'm gonna do it. I don't think he has... A whole lot of move slots for a real solid set that includes acrobatics on it. And ultimately, that's going to be his best way to hit my Leafeon. And my Leafeon is presumably going to be able to take some hits. Uh, I guess we're going to test it out. I didn't get to do a whole lot of calcing before this, but... I am a fan, just in general, of how my Leafeon kind of um, interacts with this uh, team in general goes for the knockoff and okay what would be his best play I mean his best play is probably the Decidueye yes no um plus yeah there we go yeah the best play would be the Decidueye I think yeah I think I just want to click toxic here but let's see can I tell anything with that zero aura damage does have the blaze kick so not doing a whole lot of damage I can get the toxic off 
Uh, this thing, yeah, is not very offensive at all, but uh, this will be an opportunity to just get a, a synthesis off. And... Yeah, I do have to be wary of a potential Decidueye coming in. But at the same time, yeah, I think he's going to just want to go for the damage as he avoid as I avoid it. I can get the synthesis off. And he's already sent three of my moves. He should know that my last move is just uh, a stab move. And Decidueye is very free to come in here. I can Toxic again. That's definitely a possibility. I don't think he's going to want to play this uh, too often, though. So I think I can go into Arcanine here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to want to stay in for too long here. So I think Arcanine... Is gonna be able to is gonna be able to deal with either the decision. No, he stays in. Interesting, 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 interesting. So I guess I, I guess we see whatever happens here. I, I probably want to pull a double into Leafion just to not get knocked off. But I can't imagine anything but the Blaze Kick as I avoid another Blaze Kick. But yeah, I really don't want to get knocked off. I I desperately don't want to get knocked off. So I think. Do I make this play? So, so far we've seen Blaze Click knock off Plasma Fist and probably Close Combat or Bulk Up or something. That effect. I feel like he would have gone for a Bulk Up by now either way. Yeah, Leafeon. Leafeon is going to be my play here. But this Aero Aura is already pretty weakened. It does switch out. Uh, Gudra? Yeah, it goes into the Gudra. But that's totally fine. That's totally, totally fine. Now, I don't know if this thing is going to be Snap Zipper. I doubt it. Gooey does make a lot of sense for him. I don't think he would be that afraid of Leafeon that he would pack Snap Zipper just for it. Because um, I really don't have that much grass offense on my team in general. So I really, yeah, I really cannot imagine that being something he'd be too concerned about. But Gooey is super interesting potentially for Dragapult. Um, yeah, Gooey doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot for him either way, but it is a solid just kind of check overall. I will get the Toxic off on the Gudra. I see he does go for the Dragon Pulse. And that is an offensive Gudra. That is a super offensive Gudra. But that's tough because now I feel like I have to. Man, what am I going to be able to synthesis up on? Probably just the Celix. But I'm going to have to synthesis up. That is super problematic for me. That is super problematic for me. Actually, I can go into this and just get some rocks up right now. I don't want to get a flint. I don't want to get flamethrower though. Hmm. How do I manage this? I can go into so yeah. I mean, he could he could sludge bomb, but sludge bomb would have been a play for him last turn as well. So I, I might be safe here. I'm not too too sure. This is a spec Sil Sylveon. Uh, discover the fire blast. Okay. 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 Um, let me see if I can gauge damage from that because I am. Slightly concerned about this Gudra. Offensive Gudra should have done a decent amount more. That did about, let's call that 40 points of damage. Yeah, that's that's pretty much a no investment Gudra. But Hyper Voice just. Uh, Hyper Voice also gives him a Steelix for free, which I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have just gone for the Baton Pass here. But, yeah, I shouldn't have done this. I should not have done this. Uh, although it's a 2 hit KO. Although it's not going to be with that. Okay. I think that confirms a pretty offensive Steelix. It's definitely... Huh. It has a little bit of special defense investment, but it looks like another... I mean, it looks like Hyper Voice is going to be a roll, and it's a roll that I kind of have to take here, right? 
It's a roll that I kind of have to take here. And I kind of have to hope that I take an Iron Head. But hopefully we can just pick up this KO. Do oh my god, that is huge. That is so, so huge. That keeps rocks off of my side of the field. And that does a lot for me there. That does a lot for me there. I'm going to have to see what kind of rolls those were. But uh, that definitely had to have a little bit of special defense investment. Yeah. That is super duper interesting. And this is also interesting to me. This thing could get up screens. For sure. But I also don't see this thing outspeeding me. I'm just gonna click hyper voice. Man, I'm I've I've lost so much time in those in these last couple turns. But yeah, I just want to get this hyper voice off and that's an Oko. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know what I was supposed to fear in that moment. I guess he could have been, like, a super fast Grimmsnarl with Iron Head, I guess. I don't even know if it gets Iron Head, but I guess that's what I was supposed to be thinking in my head. But I don't know. Now I think I can give up my Leafeon. My Leafeon isn't really doing anything for me anymore other than toxicing things. And I don't really have... No, I can just... Yeah, yeah, I think this is a more interesting play for me. And honestly, um, if nothing crazy happens with any type of uh, switching out here, I think I can just kind of double into... I, pro I can probably just double potentially into my Lodic. Potentially into my Lodic. Although, I probably don't want to make that play. Actually, I, you know what? I can, I can actually... That is a very... Oh, that was a crit. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's fair. But uh, I think this will allow me to double in a Dragapult here. Um, I kind of see that as a pretty no-drawback play. I could also Morning Sun here. Ugh, Morning Sun is pretty tempting. Morning Sun is really tempting. But I really want to keep pressure on. I really, really want to keep pressure on here. I think Dragapult just applies so much pressure. That this makes a lot of sense for me in this moment. Goes into the Blastoise. Okay. Huh. What type of damage am I looking at here? This might be necessary just to prevent Shell Smash. Dragon Darts is not doing a lot. Dragon Darts is not doing a lot. It honestly might just mean that I should U-turn here. I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn. Dragon Darts is a 2 a KO, but... Uh, that's very offensive. The default? Yeah, that is very offensive. But... I don't think... Even if this thing does Shell Smash, I can... I think I probably just haze on this turn, right? Go straight up for an Ice Beam. And... This probably just means that I click Toxic here, right? Best play would be Decidueye. And if he goes into Decidueye, then his entire team has been... Toxic. Other than... I'm forgetting something. Probably the Frost last, but this... Yeah, it has to be the Decidueye. Which is totally fine. So the, the the fact that that Blastoise is all is as offensive as it is, absolutely ha means that absolutely means that he's waiting to shell smash. So he he might be just be White Herb, just to kind of deal with me. But I probably should have gone for Dragon. No, Dragon Dart still wouldn't have KO'd the Blastoise. So what do I do now? I I mean I probably go into this thing. So it's probably a decent moment for me to set up rocks. But what, what is his last mon, right? Steelix went down. Um, the Gudra is the mon that is not yet toxic. But yeah, this is going to be the, my best moment possible to just try to get some rocks up and 
go from there. I think... Yeah, just limiting his switching is going to be important for me here. And... Overall, I mean, he can go into the Blastoise. I can Power Whip it. Although, I might not even... I, I might not even have to. Again, given how... How... Because he's, he's going to want a turn to... Shell Smash. And as long as I can prevent that from happening, I think it's weakened enough now where I can... Just kind of... Yeah, okay. So now we can... I actually am curious about the Decidueye calcs, what they're looking at. If uh, To a no-bulk Decidueye, Heavy Slam is always a, a KO. Heavy Slam is always a KO, assuming no-bulk. If it's max HP, which is honestly reasonably likely, uh, then it's still a KO. It's still a straight-up KO to just Heavy Slam here. And then, I'm in a really decent position for, again, my... Dragapult to start putting on wild amounts of pressure here. I mean, even Sylveon here is in a fantastic position to put on pressure. Uh, zero, zero Aura is still a problem. Zero, zero Aura is still definitely an issue. But I can I can essentially always give up Mon to bring in to bring in Arcanine for free and start um, Morning Sunning up. Assuming that I don't get critted again. Uh, if I get critted again, then it's over, and uh, this becomes incredibly difficult. But yeah, I think here I have no issues just giving up the Copperaja. Copperaja got a KO, it got up rocks. Uh, and I don't ha see this thing doing anything else for this matchup here. I could just give this thing up, again, to get the Arcanine in, and just getting up Morning Suns is going to. Oh, uh, be where I want to be right now. And I do also want to see what I can do with my Leafeon as well. That would also be huge for me. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always just going to be able to beat this Zero Aura 1v1 here. Uh, where is... There we go. Uh, he has no way of getting rocks up. So, my, yeah, so yeah, my Arcanine is always going to be the optimal kind of setup here. And I just gotta hope that I don't crit it again. Like I said. That's my biggest concern right now. His best play would be to bring in the Gudra. Obviously. Um, but I have counterplays to the Gudra, I think. And if he brings out the Gudra, then I just honestly have options against it. I uh, If the Gudra shows up, then uh, Sylveon is always an option, but... Even even if not, then just sacking in order to get the Sylveon in is a huge, huge option for me here. Um, but yeah, again, Morning Sun is very, very free here. Given this entire kind of situation. Now, again, this this right here obviously gives him a very, very free Gudra switch in. But it's not clear to me how much uh, that matters right now. We're getting reasonably low on time, but... Um, Again, I'm not entirely sure how much that matters right now. I feel like I'm forgetting a Mon. Can just bring in the Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise is definitely a solid play for him here right now. Oh, brings in the Gudra. Brings in the Gudra. So, my Lodic feels like a solid catch-all kind of bring in here. Arcanine is pretty ind indispensable right now because of the... Because of the Zeraora plays here. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for this play. Especially, yeah. Yeah, I think this makes the most sense to me because, um, realistically, I should outspeed Inno Speed Blastoise. I don't think he really has much need to have speed on his Blastoise. And I think the rest of his team should be slow, except for obviously the Zero Aura, and the Zero Aura I can deal with. But the rest of his team should be slow enough where Sylveon just picks up KOs here, I think. Um, Blastoise can't come in. This thing 
is gonna drop. I, I feel like this nets me a KO no matter what happens. Okay, so this thing was reasonably fast, but it, uh, just Sylveon's natural bulk makes it not the biggest deal in the world. And we KO a huge, huge threat. The Zero Aura can come in, but that's always going to be a... a that's always going to be a an Arcanine play for me. That that does allow him to double into Blastoise if he chooses to. Um, which is definitely a respectable play, but then I always have the Milotic to fall back on in that situation. Yeah, this is just a play that I make. I really don't see that much of a downside. Uh, does stay in. So from here, from here what I think happens is this thing gets Toxic Solved a little bit. It goes for the Blaze Kick. Part of me wants to double here, but I feel like he has no reason not to go into Blastoise. But I think that means that I just click Toxic. I'm going to click Toxic here. I don't see any reason for him not to just... Yeah, okay. Fair, that's fair. That's fair. Um, This thing is going to get KO'd. Uh, I wonder, just for just for stat purposes, what, what got a Toxic off? It must have been the Leafeon. Yeah, Leafeon is, in, is out here doing some work, I think. But that was just the Blastoise. I definitely get this Toxic off. I let the Arcanine go down. And then I let... Actually, this this um this Blastoise is reasonably low, so I could no no there's no reason to. I was gonna say I could try to make something happen with with Dragapult, but I don't think that's ever a play that's worth making here. When I can just toxic this thing, and then let my loaded kind of do its thing from there. Um, and just in case this thing wants to shell smash on me twice, I think that's reason that's more than reason enough to, to want to go into um, hard Milotic. But yeah, just go for the shell smash. Uh, this thing could definitely sh shell smash multiple times. Um, actually, if it's not White Herb, if it's not White Herb, then I can just click Snarl, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I think no matter what happens, I just don't think he has enough turns to... To kind of 1v4, 1v5 my entire team. So, I think I can do this and good things happen here. Um, it does make me regret, regret a decent amount not bringing just leftovers my Lodic here. But I'm super duper curious as to how much damage this does. It doesn't do a whole heck of a lot, but it does... It does actually look like, it does actually look like a Dragon Pulse is would KO me. Um, which probably, which is not good. There's no world in which that's good, but I think Focus Blast. We, he misses the Focus Blast. Okay, that's huge. I mean, ultimately, it nets a differential point or two, but... Uh, hopefully he hits the next one so I can see just how much damage that does. Nope, never mind. Okay. Uh, the Blastoise is going to go down, and we are going to take this win against Diatite. Uh, it was definitely a super stressful matchup, but a lot of things had to happen for me. Uh, and Sylveon just doing things that I needed it to do. In particular, getting that 2KO on the CLX was so, so huge for me. And just getting, just doing so much damage. A lot more damage than I honestly expected it to do. But Sylveon was um, just a monster here. That's going to be week one of the NCP. We do take, again, a 5-0 win against Dietite. I love Dietite to death. It was really fun to be able to face him again. And, uh, I don't know. I did play in a way that I wasn't the most comfortable with. But at the same time, just my team matched up super well. Like, I had hard checks to certain mons of his. And I felt like I played in a way that I kind of had to play this. But like I said, that's going to be week one. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the NCP. Uh, we'll be closing out the UPL season really, really soon, as well as getting into the AP Academy season. But once again, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.